Hey, g'day folks, it's me back again with another video. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a Le Creuset piece on this channel, so here is another uh, Le Creuset piece. Now, what this is, it is a, it's called a, well, here in Europe, it's called a low casserole, so it is like the conventional Dutch oven, but it is lower. And in the US or in North America, they call this a round wide Dutch oven, okay? So, and now this piece is actually 100% brand new. I bought it um, privately for 150 euros and I'm only going to use it to make a YouTube video and um, so yeah if you're interested in acquiring this uh, I'm again happy to sell it to you for the same price of 150 euros. So let's quickly start with an unboxing. Um, now I've never been a fan of the liquidate packaging because I just don't think it gives enough protection to um, to the pan the inside. It's just so there is really no protection. All you get is this lid. Um, well, you're gonna get the lid anyway. Uh, this piece of cardboard and the pan. Um, so here we've got the pan right out of the box. There's no additional protection whatsoever. On the box side, uh, you've got the instructions which I guess nobody reads and you've got these little plastic tabs um, to protect the lid against the pan. So in terms of the product range uh, they only come in two sizes as far as I can see here in Europe you get a 24 centimeter version uh, which is 3.1 liters and you get a 30 centimeter version which is 6.2 so this is the 30 centimeter version. Uh, 6.2 liters, right? Um, so now I'm gonna do a little comparison with the, the conventional Dutch oven, but as you can see, it, it is a bit lower um, than uh, than the conventional Dutch oven. So now let's do some uh, go through some specifications. Now just get my tape measure. So the the diameter edge to edge is actually almost. Oh, basically it's 31 centimeters, they call this 30, but the outer diameter is 31. Uh, the volume, as mentioned, is 6.2 liters. The inner bottom diameter, so the flat cooking surface, is 26, okay, I mentioned it before, 26 centimeters. And on the bottom, um, the part that's in contact with your hob is 24, okay, so it's not that big, actually. Yeah, it's 24. Now the weight is 6.6 .6 kilograms in total, so that's including the lid. Okay, so this is 6.6 .6 kilograms, and without the lid, this is 4.4 kilograms. Right. So now let's do a little. Oh, oh geez, um, Let's do a little comparison with the conventional Dutch oven. So this is my personal 28 centimeter conventional Dutch oven, 6.7 liters in volume. Uh, this is a 30 centimeter wide around or low Dutch oven. So as you can see, the, the, there is a difference in height obviously, and that difference is, I would say, about three centimeters, okay? So the low version is three centimeters lower, shorter, than the conventional version. And the bottom diameter uh, is, now this is 23 if I remember correctly. Um, the bottom diameter is, this is 23, so you get three centimeters more on this than you get here. Uh, but of course I'm comparing a 30 centimeter version with a 28 centimeter version. Uh, but that's also because they um, that these don't come in the 28 centimeter version, as far as I can see. Okay. So now, what are some of the advantages for this low version? Well, now a while ago I did a video on the Lucrose brazier. Um, here it is. I'll put a picture right now. And I said I didn't really recommend um, that vessel because. I just found it too impractical. Okay, so there is too shallow. Uh, the bottom diameter for the diameter of the pan is just too small, uh, and um, so overall it just wasn't very practical as a pan, uh, which is what well, that's my opinion anyway. But this pan, this low Dutch oven, well, I actually really like it. I really recommend it. Uh, it's 
got almost the same volume as the conventional Dutch oven so everything you can do you can do interchangeably in these two vessels and it gives you the advantage of having a larger bottom surface diameter and also it has a very decent depth okay so unlike the uh, the brazier that I've previously did a video on you do get sufficient depth volume in this um, in this pan okay now one disadvantage is that um, well the bottom diameter so I'm gonna put this aside the bottom diameter here is a little bit bigger um, so you really need to make sure that uh, the size of your hob matches the size of your pen. Okay, so hopefully I didn't make this video too long. Um, so this is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, and in summary, yes, I really do recommend this piece. I really like this piece. Uh, I think it's a very practical piece. Now the only, uh, the only uh, condition is that just make sure uh, the bottom of your pen matches the bottom matches the size of your hob because if you have a smaller hob uh, and again because it's cast iron then your heat distribution is not going to be that good and that is also why i'm not even going to bother using this on my hob i'm not even going to bother to do any testing because i, I know that with my 21 and a half centimeter hob the uh, evenness of the temperature distribution is not going to be that really that good okay Okay, so I hope you enjoy this quick look with this uh, 30 centimeter liquor low casserole, uh, and I will see you in the next video.